Hey y'all, real quick. It is, uh, can I keep track of the days? It is Wednesday. It is Wednesday evening. I am home, been home for a little bit. Um, I need to edit some clips, you guys. I really do. I'm, again, a few months behind on stuff, and I really just feel like I'm just going to delete a bunch of stuff because it's like I'm never going to catch up. Although these are my memories, <laughs> I'm just never going to catch up because I just keep vlogging, and it takes me a while to edit, and it just everything just keep, keeps getting backed up, and you guys are seeing stuff that's, like, mad old. And when I'm talking about things, I kind of want them to be current, obviously. But, so anyway, um... I'm doing some laundry. I cooked enough dinner last night that I don't have to cook tonight. So we're gonna be eating leftovers, but I'm gonna be, we're gonna be leaving the house um, Friday morning for work. And then um, we have to go drop Chunky off at Doggy, Doggy Daycare. They're gonna keep him for a few days while we can't be in the house because the guys are doing the insulation. And as I said, and I think the previous vlog before this or clips before this is that the house needs time to air out and off gas some of the chemicals used so we can't be in the house like i said the company actually told us we can be in the house because of the size of the house and i said your mama can stay here i'm not taking no chance of you know stuff in the air and all of that i'm giving it more than enough time to air out and them to suck all the, the chemicals out and when we come home i'm putting on my own air purifiers as well I don't play that type of stuff. You know, that's how you end up with cancer, you know, years down the road and you don't know how exposing yourself to, you know, all type of stuff and you don't realize it. Um, you know what I mean? But I'm very cautious of that type of stuff. So, um, I need to go find a bag that I can pack my stuff for us to go to the hotel for the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And my husband is like, everything that's in our attic has like a layer of dust. The stuff that wasn't covered. Like most of our clothes and stuff are airtight. I have coats up there, but they're zipped in plastic airtight. But like the other stuff, like I had some sneakers and stuff up there that are just out that I just kind of put on a shelf and I didn't put away. But because of the construction, they redid our ceilings and took the ceilings down to do electrical. Like dust and shit got everywhere. So I need to put, I need to put on a good pair of shoes and I need to put on a mask because I need to go up there I need a week I need a weekend bag and I need to um go through my bins to get some t-shirts and stuff because y'all I told y'all only t-shirts that I have is those t-shirts that I ordered from um what was it Shein that's it I don't have any other t-shirts I have a few like shorts and I have some um Uh, stretchy pants or whatever and that's basically all the clothes that I have for like the weekends and I bought a few pieces for work Chunky's out here you guys my husband yelled at Chunky so bad cause Chunky shit is in the house again 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 without having any mistakes for come on months and then today, all of a sudden, he shits in the house. Now, again, I always try to look at, well, what did we do? And when I came home, I take him out immediately. He, he I don't know if he pooed, though. I don't remember. But um, he, he usually always has to pee and poo when I come home. And then I got straight to work. Like, I, I took him out. I started gathering my laundry. I went upstairs. I started laundry. I started wiping down stuff in my kitchen. I asked my husband for the um, heavy-duty plastic that we have because I'm about to tape off everything. So whatever, you know, dust or whatever comes from this insulation, it's not going to be on everything. And if it is, the plastic can catch it. And then we can just dispose of the plastic. So that is my plan, you guys. I just can't wait for everything to be finished. <laughs> you know, everything is in its in phases, but things take a really long time. So I'm gonna actually go put on some um 
some proper shoes because I just have these. Changes when in love, yeah I surround my soul with the positivity That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and run, yeah, yeah oh, 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 oh. Memory lane isn't that too far away from my hearts, yeah, yeah we should never let go So tell me who you love, baby Take a moment to unwind Fix yourself and realign yourself With the world, baby Breathe slow, baby Happy Thursday, although well, it's really like happy Friday, motherfucker. Cheers to the weekend. <clears throat> um, Juneteenth is now a federal holiday. Cheers to that. So, um, I think I'm gonna just upload this to Instagram because, child, by the time y'all see this. It might be September. <laughs> Y'all know how I do with my vlogs. So let me go outside real quick. Hold on. I'm going to catch y'all up. Hold on a sec. All right, you guys. I came outside. Um, Like I said, I think I'm going to just do shoot this quick little update. I look a little rough because I just came home from work. Um, So I will update you guys because... Although I film basically every day or every other day. Look at y'all boy. The grass just got cut today too. When the grass is freshly cut, he loves to just lay his whole body in the in the yard. And it smells so good, like fresh cut grass, and it looks so good, so clean and manicured. I'm just so thankful you guys, like for my life man i tell you this is it's the simple things for real but anywho so i'm gonna try to not talk forever and i'm gonna try to give you guys a quick update on what's going on because like i said although i am vlogging every day the journey the renovations shit that's going on in my life back to work y'all will see though see y'all will see that at some point but y'all know my clips are behind i think i'm up to april 13th of my life what, what's, we almost in July, child, and I've only edited up till April 13th. And I have clips on my old phone from last summer that I never edited. My husband made me a, um, a margarita. We actually got these glasses in Mexico. Was it Mexico? One of the islands. They gave, we went to the gift shop and bought these. Um... We're just trying to chill because um, I'm trying to think what I've already vlogged that you've seen. So most of you know if you watch most of my vlogs or all of my vlogs that my house is under construction. There's been work going on every day since. Um, when did they start? When did they start construction? Y'all, I mean upstairs construction. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Come here. Um, I don't really remember, but let's just say two months. So between the demolition, the reframing of the three rooms upstairs, um, they had to do uh, reinforced uh, beams in certain places, electrical. I'm trying to think of every, God bless you. I'm trying to think of everything that has been done. Um, 
oh lord, move my damn drink. Um, I don't know, a lot of shit has been done, you guys, and what are you doing? You can't drink? We're down to the wire, so Friday, which is tomorrow, Juneteenth, the, um, insulators are coming in we decided to go with a spray foam insulation i've done tons of research you guys because i'm just ocd with everything i've heard some bad things about spray foam insulation but the company that we chose to use i feel comfortable with them the craziest shit is that in canada which i love i love canada like i really thought about moving to canada at some point and my husband and i actually had contemplated leaving <laughs> and moving to canada but because we both have career jobs and we make such good money like to move to Canada and start all over would have been a little crazy. I mean, we got everything that we want here in the U.S. But y'all know, the U.S. government and the, shit, the way shit goes around here, she's ass backwards. Healthcare, politics, it, it's just, and we can't escape that, you know? So, those things make you think, do I really want to live here? But we've made this our home and everything else we're trying to, you know, you, you figure it out as you go. But, um... In Canada, the spray foam companies, they have tons of guidelines, tons of safety measures that they have to follow, so many different things. And in the U.S., most companies are not mandated to do any of that. They're not mandated to check the air quality after they do the insulation. They're not mandated to mix the chemicals correctly. It's just crazy to me that here in America, you basically can do whatever the hell you want to people, their homes. There's no repercussions. You know what I mean? It's just crazy to me. And it's, it's very sad that you as a um, resident here in the States, you really have to advocate for yourself, fight for yourself, do your own due diligence, or you end up dead, broke, because they, they don't care. So anywho, in my, in my research, I had found this out that you know in Canada with the spray foam things are a lot different but here in the U.S. the rules are not the same so the company that we decided to go with have been doing it for years they have a very good reputation they're a little bit more than some of the other um spray foamers but paying more for quality and my health both my, me and my husband are like come on that's a no-brainer so we're going with a, a company that's been doing it for a long time. We trust that they're going to mix the chemicals correctly. We trust that they're going to check the air quality before we come back in the house and all that good stuff. So th that's where I, I where I am with the spray foam. But the spray foam is actually the best option for us because of the size of the house. Because of the uh, prior insulation was crap. The spray foam is um, an excellent resource for us. It's going to... Um, seal up any cracks or holes in the outside walls so in the winter the heat is going to stay in the house much much better which is going to be great for our for our bills um in the summer it's going to be a lot cooler because the heat is not going to be able to penetrate through the home so it's just better and the shit lasts like a really long time it's quicker um and that's what we decided to do so that's happening tomorrow i think the guys are going to be here at eight eight o'clock seven or eight o'clock i don't know so tonight the job is we have to seal off this because i do my research we have to seal off everything where we don't want like you know particles and shit from the spray foam flying into certain rooms or landing on certain things in the house so after i finish my drink actually we're gonna go to the supermarket my husband wants anchovies we're gonna make a pizza um i think it's a pizza from trader joe's trader joe's or costco's chunky he's been sitting in my net area and like sitting his big ass on it and pulling down on the umbrella like i just got that umbrella <sighs> chunky ain't never gonna have free room at the house y'all because this dog with all the training all of this shit working with him every day he still be doing what he want to do when he thinks you're not looking so it's it's just like dude we're not gonna allow you to fuck our shit up <laughs> you gonna be at that playpen forever or you gonna be a daycare with those weird dogs because bro no, 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 no. Don't think kissing me is going to get you what you want. It's not. And you can't have a drink either. Sit down. Get over me. Because you get chunky. Yo, y'all want an English burger? Because the video, actually, the vlog y'all going to see next on my channel is about chunky. And I, I, I talked for a good 10, 15 minutes about how I'm going to get rid of his ass. Because he caused some real damage in my house. And I vlogged that shit in April, I think. But y'all going to see it. Anywho, you guys, so that's what's going on. Um, I need to seal off some things. I need to pack a bag for the next three days because we're going to be in a hotel for 
Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Monday, Sunday night, we come, Sunday afternoon we come back. Um, what else? Oh, we have to go drop Chunky off tomorrow morning at the doggy day camp. I have to ask them some questions though, because my husband's like, no, I didn't ask that, I didn't ask that. Because I don't remember if they let them allow him to play with other dogs. I have to, I have to ask that, because he don't really be around other dogs like that. And I need to, you know, I need to know, whatever. I mean, he has all his shots and all that sort of shit, but I just want to make sure that I'm asking the right questions. Um, what else do I have to do? Oh, I have to, um, I have to clean Cooper, I have to clean Cooper's cage um, and fill his, I have like vacation bowls that usually when I go away for a few days, Cooper can be by himself. And I'm going to move his little temporary cage to the porch area. The porch area is not really attached to my house, so I don't have to worry about, um, you know, stuff seeping into the porch area. That's where I actually keep Chunky during the day. Man, I try to hide this from you and still found it. So we're going to put Cooper there. I'm going to make sure that he has enough food. And usually when I go away for a few days, I usually give him a, um, a glass water bottle so he can't contaminate the water he'll have to use the little boily thing to get the little bowl thing to get the water out if i if i remember i'll film it put it in a vlog um yeah you guys so that's basically it that's that's what i'm doing tonight i know i'm gonna be super tired we have to be up and out of here before eight o'clock and the funny shit is the hotel don't it's not gonna even let us check in until i think one and we asked for early check-in was like check-in time is not until three but you know we got government ids and shit like that so they was like oh we could do you a favor like you ain't doing us a favor because we paying but yeah that's what's going on and um yeah so i'm gonna film obviously when i'm at the hotel you know my husband has a lot of shit that he has to do because he's gonna have to come back to the house he has to go pick up supplies they're finishing up our fence or the second part of the fence on sunday he has to go rent the orga again i think he has to pick up some more concrete like it's just a lot my poor husband i feel so bad for him i told him to go lay down and rest for a little bit um before we go get um the anchovies and i have to go to the bank to, to deposit some money i don't like to walk around with a lot of cash and i don't like to keep a lot of cash in the house so um gosh, I'm Did you see her? Here you go. The hummingbirds, you guys, they're so beautiful. They're so little and pretty. And I have two hummingbird feeders out. One over there. And I have one around. Chunky, Chunky, stop that liquor. Stop. Y'all want a bulldog? Because, honey. But, um, I think the hummingbird was going to have a rose bush over here. I think he was going to, um, stop and try to get uh sap from the rose bush but chunky scared him i love it here okay you guys have heard me say that before but i cannot tell y'all enough how much it's woodpeckers i absolutely love it here you guys this is so my dream this is everything that i imagine as a young adult you know seeing for myself and i have so much to talk about you guys i have so much to share with you guys but everything in in due time and um y'all just y'all stay along with me on my journey and like i said i know this well y'all don't know because y'all ain't see those vlogs yet I, I just vlogged talking about this i know a lot of times y'all don't get full stories or i leave y'all hanging with certain things like i'll tell y'all about something and then i don't ever talk about it again or you don't hear about it for a long time I apologize. That's that's just how my life is. That's how it goes. Sometimes I may rethink things and be like, yeah, I'm not going to talk about that or whatever. So for those who've been rocking with me forever, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all because y'all be putting up with my shit. Y'all be putting up with my three, four month old vlogs. <laughs> y'all still be in the comments. Y'all still be DMing me. Y'all still be showing me love. <gasps> hold on, hold on, hold on. My buddy is back. See, y'all didn't see this vlog yet, but this little red bird comes to visit every day every day he comes to visit or she i don't know but it always makes itself known you know they say cardinals actually carry spirits of loved ones i don't know how true it is but i want to believe it and y'all know who i think it is right my loved one it's such a beautiful thing it makes me happy even if it's not you know really a thing and it's just a random bird i still want to believe that it is the spirit ew you poo poo the spirit of somebody that i love that comes to visit me every day 
I ain't gonna cry. Isn't he beautiful? Look at him. He hangs out. Y'all y'all will see in some vlogs I've captured this bird on a few occasions. I don't know where he went, but yeah. So that's it you guys, just a little look at this one. Lazy bum. I just wanted to come in and give y'all something recent. Um a lot of y'all that follow me on the tube, you do follow me on Instagram as well. I guess this is the quickest way for me to upload and um get some there's another bird. He looks like a blue jay. But I don't think the camera's gonna pick him up. Sorry you guys. I'd be so I wanna get some binoculars. I had binoculars before. I might still have them, but I don't know where they are. There's so many things that I wanna buy. Like I want a whole new patio set. This patio set has had it. Um, we didn't take care of it, you know what I mean? And, and all I mean by that is that when the season changes, you really need to wrap your patio furniture because with the temperature changes and shit like that, it, it gets warped and all that sort of thing. And we haven't done our due diligence in trying to preserve this furniture and it's falling apart now. Like the, I don't even know what you call this stuff, but it's, it's coming apart so it needs to go. I've seen a few sets that I like and my husband is like, don't buy that now, just wait because we're gonna get this deck redone. I'm gonna get it extended so he's like just wait until that's done and then you could have a better idea of like how much space you have and blah 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 but me i have like the itch like i'm just like i'm tired of looking at the same old furniture that's freaking falling apart look, look at my door <laughs> like he thinks this is his shit you know what i mean and i don't mind him sitting on the outside furniture because all these pillows and stuff you could um unzip and wash like the cushions and stuff but he can't sit on my inside furniture not happening and everybody's like oh my god you know you, your bulldog is gonna one day make you feel you know you're gonna want to cuddle with him and you're gonna want to have him on your couch or in your bed no i'm not <laughs> he has the things that i have given him like the, the little the thing that was on the end of my bed that has become his and i sit on that sometimes and if he wants to lay in my lap that's what we're gonna do it you know get on my couch and and he's already rub, rubbing his body on like the edge of my couch and i have to freaking get my um my spot bot to clean that shit because he has natural oils in his fur and he has transferred that shit onto my couch and i'm livid but you know what am i gonna do he lives there he doesn't know he don't know any better and i'll just do the best i can and i'll clean it but i'm not letting him sleep on the couch he's furry chunk chunky he gives off a lot of dander no thank you like i'm good um he not sleeping in the bed with me this dog is 55 pounds he smells poo he digs in the dirt what what in my bed dogs are nasty okay i don't care and i keep him as clean as possible because i'm ocd and he's still nasty i don't care i don't care i don't care maybe if it was like a smaller dog i'd be like mm, it's easier to kind of like manage them and maybe with the smaller dog i'd be like all right you can sit on my lap or whatever chunky's 55 pounds that's like a toddler and he has fur. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He sniffs butts. You're not getting in my bed, bro. He tries, but my bed is so high he can't get in there. And that's another thing. We're going to have to get um, the bed, order our bedroom furniture, figure out the placement of things. Like, it's all exciting, but it's also, like, stressful. All right, I've been talking too long. I'm going to try to load this to Instagram. If this is, like, super long, I might just upload it to YouTube. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what's happening. I'm going to stay out here, close my eyes, do me a little meditation for about 10, 15 minutes. Then I'm going to go inside and get my husband and be like, let's go do what we have to do outside. So we can come back and do what we have to do inside. Thank you guys so much for listening to my random shit. Thank you for following my journey, although my journey is a few months behind. <laughs> to you guys. Um... You will see in some upcoming vlogs everything that has been going on, the process, me complaining about shit, me being thankful for shit, probably me crying. I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell y'all what I vlog because it'd be so random. And I could vlog for five minutes one day, 20 minutes the next day, fit the next day, don't vlog for a week, pick up the vlog again. Like, it's just, it just be <laughs> mosquitoes all over the place. So, thank y'all. Thank y'all for y'all loving support. Thank y'all for following me on this journey. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. Y'all don't have to take your time to watch my videos or comment or do any of that. So I always like to say thank you. I am appreciative. I do enjoy vlogging. I do enjoy capturing my memories. I do enjoy actually sharing, you know, certain things. It has been, um... 
it has been uh, very healthy and helpful, you know, just being able to talk about things, get things out, without actually talking to people you know that be trying to be all in your business or your family that maybe you don't want to tell them or talk to them about everything. So y'all my YT family, and thank y'all for listening. And I will see y'all in the next one. Be good, be well, peace. Which, you guys, I just wanted to show y'all. Can you see right there? That's the moon. I won't let me zoom from this forward facing camera, but look at the sky today. The moon is there. What are you looking at? <coughs> what is your problem? Are you retarded? <laughs> what are you barking at? Yeah, I can't tell y'all wanna both talk? I mean, my husband will probably want most of his money back, so y'all gonna need a few bags. He pure bread. <laughs> He don't got no balls no more though. You ain't gonna be able to get no babies out of it. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> you know where I'm going, y'all? I, I think I was talking for like a good five minutes. And I wasn't recording. Um I'm off again, another adventure to take my cousin, my cousin, my husband's commuter car to drop it off because it sounds weird. It's making a noise. So I have to go with him to drop it off so that, um, so incredible. So that, um, you know, he has a way to get home. The good thing about the mechanic that we use, and I think I've said this before, is that you can drop your car off basically any time of day or night. They have a drop box. You fill out the form. And um, you're good to go. You have to make an appointment, though. You have to call ahead of time and say, hey, listen, I'm dropping my car off. It's sometime tonight or whatever. And um, then you just park it in one of the spots. And you leave it fill out the paperwork and uh, you're good to go so i vlogged earlier today but that vlog i'm gonna actually put up asap because it's sort of like an update video my stomach hurts now after i had a margarita earlier um my husband made us margaritas when we came home he's like oh let's oh you're too close to my car he's like oh let's relax i'm gonna make some margaritas i'm like okay meanwhile what did i eat today no, I had something to eat. I was like, I, I wanted to do drinking it. I didn't have nothing on my stomach. I just had one little small strawberry margarita and it was pretty good. But now my stomach hurts. Um, and I got a lot of shit to do. Once we come back, y'all will have already seen, seen everything that has transpired. But since I'm vlogging real time, um, I have a lot of shit to do tonight. Um, when we come back, and it's already 8.56, you guys. It's already 9 o'clock. I still have to, we still have to um, tape off uh, excuse me we still have to tape off of certain parts of our house to protect from the spray foam so i don't know how long that's gonna take i have to pack chunky's food um because we don't want him eating the resorts it's called luxury resort we don't want him eating the resorts food we have our own food for him so i have to pack that food and um i have to pack six bags because he eats two bags per day um, I have to still do Cooper's um, cage and prepare his cage for him to be alone for two days, two and a half days. I have a lot of shit to do. And I still have to pack a bag of clothes and pajamas and shit that I'm going to need in the hotel. I mean, we don't plan to do nothing. You know, like we don't plan on going anywhere. Maybe out to eat or order room service. I don't know. But, you know, you have to be prepared for anything. Although the hotel we're staying at is 15 minutes from our house, 20 minutes, something like that. So it's pretty close, but we have to let the house air out for those few days after the insulation is 
done and then Sunday when we come back the guys are gonna be there working on the fence um, so there's just a lot this is a busy weekend for me you guys like there is a lot going on so um, there's that um, I hope that this gas station is not crowded because I hate when my husband's like oh go with me somewhere take me follow me somewhere and then he gotta get gas and then the gas stations be super crowded and there will be nowhere for me to park because he gotta get gas sheesh I made it, I made it, made it, made it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, we have BP. I don't really like this gas station because for whatever reason, my car don't be damn working here. Let me show y'all hubby. Hubby getting his gas. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Well, you know we feel so, y'all know this song? We can do it till we both wake up. You know I'm hooked on you And this is what I do I wasn't allowed to listen to this song But I still did